Hey kid, you want a Hershey bar? And then the kid goes, yeah. He goes, so would I. It's an old roll. Yeah, that's that's not a sword. It's it's a bayonet. It was attached to the end of rifles, and that was an Austrian bayonet during World War One. And uh, the groove on the inside isn't just for design. It's uh, it isn't just to look neat. It's uh, it's so that when you stab someone, the blood can come out, so that it's a more successful wound as opposed to a closed wound which doesn't bleed and no one dies but with the blood let
Jarvis. Did you did you know I've never been fired from a job that I've had? I've had like ten jobs. I was working seafood at uh, Winn Dixie before it closed down, and uh, I would just sit there. Sometimes we get one customer a day. The busy day was like five customers, but uh, yeah, I would try to get fired from Winn Dixie, so I would go and steal my lunch every day, like chips and peanuts and stuff and fruit juice. And I wouldn't even try to hide it. I wouldn't put a receipt on there or anything. And it got to the point where I started just making my own fish and eating that every day. Because we had a steamer machine that we, we could steam the food for customers and stuff. But uh, I would just kind of... It got to a point where every, everyone who bought seafood from me I would I would change the price to like 99 cents a pound from like 5 bucks just to uh just to do something funny and good cuz it was in a poorer area of town it was in Germantown Goss Avenue so when my manager was around Patty which wasn't too often but you know she would pretend like there was stuff we could do even though we had no customers, so she would, so she, she made up this rule that you had to, the seafood that was in the display case had to be like three fourths full. But then I'd have to go out in the freezer in the back, and uh, you know, f like find a box because they pack everything in the freezer from all every department, and I have to find certain fish, bring it back, and put it in the case. But instead of doing that, if it got low, I would just kind of like spread it out a little bit like spread the catfish chunks out so it looked like it was full, I mean it didn't really look like it was full at all but when he, if a manager walked by and glanced at it you know, he would just, because he's looking at everything else, he would think it's full and no one caught me doing that either so
I'm trying to save as much tuna as I can without making it fall. Hard to sweep it all up. 